Welcome back to the Martin Show. My name is Jakey Boy. You are Zaki Man here. Episode 13. Ooh. Odd number. That means we have a guest on our pod. Before we get into it though, Fano, I just want to say please uh, subscribe, like, comment, all our socials. We'll drop them below. Plug in, plug in, plug in. Plug in, plug in, plug in. Get involved, Fano, get involved. So we have a guest on the show. We have our brother, Daniel Ridgely. Ridgely sorry. Uh, this man is a business owner, entrepreneur, Ooh. hustler, Ooh. go-getter. Ooh. You can call him a fitness model. You can oh, call him at all. <laughs> Welcome to the Martin Show, my brother. Welcome, Thank you, brother. boys. Thank you for having me. No, man. Uh, let's dive in. Mm. You were just saying that you just been to the Philippines. Look how bronze it is. Yeah. Yes, bro. How was it? Bro, amazing. Yeah. It's, it's probably one of the best places I've ever been to, bro. Yeah. In terms of the the culture, the the connection that people share with each other, mm. it's just beautiful, bro. Mm. Like kind of getting away from here and just like diving into a new culture. Just you learn so many life lessons, bro. Yeah. And it was just beautiful. Like the, the country itself, the surf, the sand, the food, that's all good, but it's the people. Yeah. You know? Ooh. And you just feel so connected with them, man. And was that your first time? First time in the Philippines, bro. First time. Wow. So people just have time for each other because that's all they have is each mm. other. They're not really chasing or they're not that ambitious or they're not the go-getters. And the only thing that they have is each other. Oh, my God. And that's their main priority is, is family, bro. And they're so family orientated. Mm. And, like, I guess, like, for us in New Zealand, bro, you're always wanting to leave the family, get out of the nest, you know? Mm. But they, they don't, bro. Wow. Yeah, they stay stick one together for okay. a long time. And it's just so beautiful to see and they stop, they talk to you. How are you? What's your name? You know, they give you compliments. Oh. You look nice. Like, I like the way you're dressing or I like yeah. your your physique or your hair yeah, or whatever, yeah, bro. Yeah. You know, and they're so down to earth and they just connect, bro. And I was just blown away from it, bro. Wow. Yeah. There was so much lessons being there, bro. I want to take it back and go, fuck, I need to change the way I'm living here in New Zealand. Oh, mm. my God, yeah, bro. It sounds yeah. like something that... Well, me personally, I think like, oh, we both need eh, something like that. Yeah. It's a little getaway, eh? Do you, so, did you, was it a solo? Was solo. it a solo trip? The, you know, uh, so I had a mate over there who I met over there. Yeah. Mm. So I was there for like, probably with him for four days. But you don't feel alone there, my bro. Like if you go to Europe alone or America alone, you feel alone. Yeah. Like you go to the Philippines, bro. People are waving me into their houses, wow. feeding me, giving me like drinks, everything, bro. Looking after me, you know. Oh. And it's just so, um, it was such a powerful experience, boys. Yeah. If you had to... I, because you just mentioned that you had so many learnings. Mm. What would be your, your number one or number one takeaway? Don't ever lose connection from like your friends and your family. Connection is the most important part. I think like you go the journey, the destination, but it's the people mm. that count the most. So never lose the connection with your brothers, with your mom, dad, whatever. I feel like connection is the most important thing, bro. And mm. if you keep chasing this dream and chasing this goal, like you can lose people along the way. Mm. And, and um, for me, that was like, all right, you got to, you know, Focus on the connection as well. The people, the most important people, are part of your life. Yeah, Holy stay true to who you are. Shit, F- Fano will always be there at the end of the day. Eh? No We're matter, like no five matter. minutes into the pod, yeah. bro. My yeah. bro's already been there. Tears, bro. To us. Yeah. Oh, okay, oh, I love that. okay. Let's yeah. wind it. Let's wind it all the way back. I think to for for our viewers to know to understand you as a you as a person yeah. is how you're how you're brought up, your upbringing. So yeah. tell us a little bit more about little Daniel. It's really actually interesting now thinking about who I was when I was little. It's probably uh, growing up in Whangarei, um, great little town to grow up in, man. It was real wholesome. Uh, it was just me, my twin brother, um, and my older brother. So three boys. And then my dad left when I was about five. So it was just me and my mum, my boys, my brothers. Um, and then obviously my grandparents as well growing up. Um, but yeah, bro, always, in, you know, probably like you boys, always in the backyard, eating, <clears throat> played every single sport, running around in bare feet, going to school, like living the dream, bro, you know, yeah. playing in the bush. Uh, BB guns, Joey guns, yeah. building huts, just having fun, bro. And then, um, yeah, super competitive, obviously, with the with the brothers. Always yeah. wanted to be the best and <laughs> outdo the, especially our twin brother, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Competitive, eh? Yeah. Very competitive, yeah. bro. Um, and actually, I was thinking about it when I was coming here, looking back. Um, he was a lot more talented than me, yeah. physically. Yeah. Like, um, not only people kind of know him or see him, but he was a, a giant, bro. He was like... Blew me away, his strength, everything. He could pick things up a lot quicker than me. Yeah. But um, I wanted to win. Arm wrestling, wrestling, <laughs> yeah. fighting, punching, it always outdo me. Yeah. So I think that kind of um developed that that kind of that winning instinct. Ooh. Wanting to be a little bit better and do a little bit more. And eventually I was just so relentless, bro. He just let me win. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's never gonna give up. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of developed me into the person I am today, bro. Mm. Um, so giving everything. You know, my best shot, always wanting to be the best or doing my very best was yeah. very important to me. And, and having my brothers in that environment around me, uh, yeah, it really kind of molded me into the person that I am today. Yeah. For sure. Beautiful, bro. Yeah. 
Do you, um, we're, we're in very similar waka by the, yeah. by the sounds of it. And yeah. sometimes I feel like uh, for a lot of lads in particular that yeah. we're, we're like the only ones that go through certain things or we're the yeah. only ones that, I don't know, may have missed out on having, having a dad in their yeah. lives and things like that. But when yeah. you hear there are so many other stories or so many other yeah. people out there that yeah. have experienced or are experiencing the same thing. Yeah. And so when you hear that, I'm like, oh my God, like, yeah. I'm, I, I can hear you. Like, I can relate to you. Not even just the brother thing, not even just the dad thing. Yeah. You've said all these different things where I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I can, yeah, I can really resonate with that. Did you have, we were very fortunate that we had a supportive mother. Did you, did you have um, a supportive mum in your life as well? Bro, mum, yeah, bro. Like, honestly, just my hero. Mm. She gave us everything. And I think at times we probably, I don't know how she did it, bro, mm. but we, we never went without, mm. you know what I mean? And I, and I now I look back because I'm older and we're like, fuck, man, we could have easily gone without. Yeah. But she made sure, like, you know, lunches, if we had to go anywhere for sports or anything, she was there, bro, training, she was there. Mm. She was just, like, the goat, bro, yeah. honestly. Yeah. And now I'm older, I just look back and go, I'm just blown away from what she did for us, bro. Her work ethic and drive everything for for her family and her kids. Yeah. Um, inspires me to be if I can be as half as good as her, bro. When uh, I'm a parent, then I think I'm doing a pretty good job. You're winning somewhere, eh? Right? So five years ago. Yeah. yeah. Do you think all uh, your your family upbringing and the the things that have happened to you? Do you think with your brothers, yeah. um, with your dad, with your mum? Do you think? That's like a a reason why you're so uh, fueled and fired. Why you have this have this desire to to uh, want to achieve and succeed in those sorts of things? Yeah, I believe so. Um, yeah, bro. I think when I was little, I think like you the, the truest form of yourself is when you're quite young, because mm. you, know, you haven't really been influenced by society as much. Sure. You mm. know? And then you go into that change of or well, primary school, intermediate, mm. high school was probably the, the biggest one, and. I think you can definitely lose who, who you truly are mm. you're in high school, trying to fit in or trying to be someone that you're not, yeah. just to be liked. Yeah. Mm. And, um, you know, being a super competitive dude or wanting to win or wanting to be the best isn't actually that cool. Mm. And, like, especially in New Zealand, bro, like, uh, not trying is cool, yeah. you know? Being, like, you know, not that good at, at sports or not caring is cool. Yeah. And mm. I fell into that trap of going, like, you know, I just want to be a cool guy and get on a purse party, not try, not yeah. care. And I lost who I was, bro, easily from the age of, I'd say, 14 to about 20, bro, for six years, wow. even a little bit longer. Yeah. I wasn't being my true self. Mm. And then um, starting to realize, like, actually, nah, like, and I want to I wanna succeed. I want to do well. I want to be in an environment where people are, are wanting to improve and be better and do more. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to be a part of that. So I feel yeah. like that's, yeah, I went through a lot of changes. But um, leaving high school, I thought I had time to reflect and really find my true self again. So who I used to be, but just in a more mature way. Yeah. And that was quite quite cool to experience and understand. Yeah. Straight out of high school, um, you said you kind of found yourself again. What did you do? Like, what did you do after high school? After high school, I uh, got a job just being um, like a delivery driver. So mm. still trying to, didn't know what I was wanting to do. But I wanted to be a professional soccer player. That didn't work out, got injured. So I started working. But I just knew in my heart that it's not for me. Like, I'm not supposed to be doing this. Mm. And I knew that. And, and, and once I, once you know that, like you kind of, you understand it and you, and it gives you hope because you know, like this ain't forever. For sure. So for like, sure. Okay. It ain't forever. Sweet. Yeah. So move on. So, uh, then on to another job, uh, became a tradie that lasted like two months. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I wasn't supposed to swing a hammer boy. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, to, hey, yeah. I feel you. Yeah, I, I tried my best, bro, but I'll be there for about 30 minutes trying to get in with my nail. So I was like, <laughs> Fuck boys, the same for me. Yeah, the same yeah. for me. Um, so after that, man, um, I was like, all right, sweet. Actually, so I was being a tradie and then I was playing soccer and I got injured and I uh, tore all my ligaments in my ankle. Just mm -hmm. an accident, bro, uh, on the footy field. So from there, it gave me time because I wasn't working. I was on ACC. Feet were up and I was like, all right, man, I got to figure out what I want to do. So then um, I just went to this personal training course. It took me about six months. Um, and then the more that I started improving and getting better at like personal training, fitness, health, mm. the passion started to grow. Like, I don't know yeah. if it was going to take me to where it's taking me today, yeah. but I, I went down that path and I went all in and um, got my degree, walked straight into Les Mills, which is probably the biggest fitness scene in New Zealand, and said, like, give me a job right here. So I wanted to go straight to the best, you know. I uh, did that and then learned the trade. And again, the more you improve, the more you learn, the more you start, you know, the passion, the fire. It gets, it gets it the great, yeah. yeah. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. And then it led me to... I am today and and the path that you take you don't always know where it's going to take you but i was willing to go right down there. wow yeah 
what would you say to someone? Because there's probably many lads that are listening, or Wahine as well, yeah. females as well, who are uh, in a job where they might be rising in it, but they don't really enjoy it. Mm. Um, you know, they're they're comfortable, but they might be a little bit miserable. Mm. Uh, you you made the step and you found something. Mm. What would you say to to that person? Jake recently experienced recently exactly what mm. you just. Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. left his plumbing job. I was a plumber, well. bro. Oh yeah, I was a plumber, so I left maybe like a month ago now. Yeah. Um, to pursue uh, health and fitness. Yeah. So yeah, PT similar, and stuff. very similar waka. Yeah. yeah. What would you say to someone who is is on that boat right now? Yeah, bro. I think what's the other point? It's like your biggest risk will be not taking any risks, mm. bro. You know mm. what I mean? And you're never gonna regret going for something that you truly love, you know. Mm. And if you truly love it and you're truly passionate about it, you will find a way to make it work. Um, but for me, like to find out what you're passionate about, it's not gonna come straight to you. Yeah, you gotta go looking for it, bro. Mm. Yeah. And if you like go down something and you're you start improving, you start getting better, and you still don't enjoy it, yeah. then it ain't for you. Yeah. You know? Once you start getting better at something and you're enjoying it, all right, okay, bro, this, this is for you. Yeah. And then just keep going, bro. Keep going down it. And then if you can share that experience with like your friends, I think that's probably the biggest thing that I ever did, bro, was going like, bro, you're my best mate. We like the same thing. Let's do this together. Let's mm. figure this shit out together. Mm. You'll pick me up. I'll pick you up. You know, mm. and no matter what, we ain't going to give up. I'm going to do this. Yeah, for sure. It's just yeah. gotta try. Gotta, gotta try. try. Yeah, take the risk. Gotta try, bro. Take the risk. Moving on to uh true hustle then. So you yeah. go from Liz Mills to yeah. true He's got hustle. the shirt on. He's got the shirt on. <laughs> all day. It's hey, all wear, represent. Yeah. <laughs> it's all yeah. Um for our for our listeners and viewers who who may not know, what what is true hustle? Uh so true hustle started it'll be about nearly four years ago. Um so yeah. Me and my boy, Drake, uh, he's from Whangarei as well. So me and him were living together at the time. We're both personal trainers um, at Les Mills. So living in um, Cannon Crescent, Mount Ross School. And we quickly hit the pinnacle of personal training, you know, fully, fully booked out. You know, it was cool. The money was good. Um, we, were, we were grinding, we were hustling. But once you hit the roof, you go, well, now what? Yeah. You know, like, where's the growth? What are we going to do? So I sat there and I just said, man. Do something, bro. Like, I want to, I want to create my own vision, my own path, my own journey. Like, yeah, Les Mills was great, but it, it's this, mm. you know, it's not ours. Yeah. So, um, I sat him down. I said, bro, um, like, you obviously get inspired by people online and people in America, Australia, they're doing their thing. For sure. I was like, brother, let's create our own brand. Let's do it. And we, like I said, man, we had no idea what <laughs> we were doing, <laughs> but let's figure this out. So, I brought him on, and and we sat down. We had a meeting, and we started off. Bro, just like just like the iPhones, yeah. got them out, started filming, started recording, doing workouts, My online life. programming, bro. So we got this like online platform, and we just started kind of like you know sign up, you know make four programs, and it started off just like two boys just you know having a bit of fun, yeah. you know, and then you get like a little bit of recognition, and people start buying your products, and then the biggest thing, bro, was lockdown, lockdown oh. hit, and we had an online program, and no one could go to the gym. So like we just went we make a, a lockdown program. So we called it like lockdown true hustle lockdown program. And then we just checked our phones for it. It was like ding ding ding. ding. <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were just Me. buzzing, bro. We were buzzing and that was sick. And then that just lasted for a shorter period of time. You know, you get the wins and you yeah. get the ups and you get the downs. Yeah. Um, you get the doubt, the fear, everything. But we did it together and go, no matter what, we ain't gonna quit. We're gonna keep going, bro. And um, so we're just at home. Uh we met it out at the garage gym. We got like a rower, a barbell, dumbbells, and we just started flipping out, making bids. Then once lockdown finished and we all went to go back to work, we were just like, I was just like, bro, we ain't going back to Les Mills. Yeah. Like, we, we ain't going back, bro. And he was like, well, what do you mean? I was like, we're going to get our own gym. And he's like, how are we going to do that? We'll figure it we're out. We're going to make it yeah, work. Going, yeah. So started calling real estate agents. I had no idea. We're just going around, bro. And eventually it's like, so you make it happen, bro. I don't yeah. know how, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't follow any rule books. We just made it happen. Bro. Yeah, yeah. We just walked in and we're like, sweet, we'll take this one. And obviously, we saved a bit of money. We yeah. went all in and we gave it everything, bro. All our savings, boom, went yeah. to this gym. Uh, so that was the very first HQ that was on Cook Street. It was little, it was real small. Um, it wasn't the, the prettiest thing, but that's where True Hustle kind of um, flourished and it, and it built this community. First place. Yeah, mm. it was the first place, bro. And I look mm. back on it, man. It was such a special time. And that's what made True Hustle what it is today. And we're there for about two years. We built a community in-house online, um, a name for ourselves. And then about two months ago, we moved into our new space. Yeah, bro. Oh, so we, 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 uh, yeah, bro. Congratulations. We up and we moved on. And Where is that? Where's your new spot? Uh, it's in Sales Street, 68 Sales Street. Oh, okay. So yeah. Cook Street's here, bro. Sales Street's here. We just went over there. Yeah. yeah. And Good the building you, that we're in, I remember we walked in there. 
we were looking for this building and uh, we're like, oh, bro, this is mean. How much? And then he told us, we're like, there's no way we're getting that. <laughs> and then three years later, bro, we, we got it. Oh, Good on you, yeah. brother. That's, a, that's yeah. amazing. Oh, that's yeah, that's amazing, bro. Yeah. Bro, talk to me a little bit more about, about the journey itself. Has it been what you expected it to be? Mm. As you said, there's been ups and downs. Has it, oh, ups and downs. Bro. Has it been, has it been what, what you sort of expected yeah. it when you were like, we're going to do it, we're going to do it, this is going to be it? Has it, yeah. has it? I, I've always, like, the things that are happening, I always saw it before it happened. Mm. So I, I'm a visionary and I see things and I go, like, you know, we're about this. We're going to mm. do this no matter what, you know. But like I said, it's... I signed the deal saying no matter what happens, we're not going to quit. We're going to find a way. And once you kind of sign that deal internally, you're going to figure it out no matter what. Yeah. Um, but definitely the people that I've met along the way, the connections that we've made, the places that we've gone, um, yeah, I didn't see it coming at all, bro. <laughs> not at all. And, and that's the, the beautiful part of it. You yeah. just don't know where it's going to take you. Yeah. That's the fun part. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah. yeah. How important is your community and like the relationships you've built um, with Wahine and males um, yeah. along the journey? How important are those people to you now? Oh, everything, bro. Like mm. I said, if it wasn't without them, it's just two boys from Whangarei clanging and banging, you know, mm. just lifting some weights in the yeah. cash gym. With them, it's, it's true hustle. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're nothing without the people. Mm. Um, and I'm just grateful that those people kind of saw something in us and believed in us and wanted to be a part of what we were doing. Yeah. So for me now, bro, um, it's honestly everything, bro. And people come along, like you might just see them as, oh, it's one of the bros. Like he's this new dude from the North Shore coming on. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah. He changed the game. He changed the game for us. Yeah. He, he injects this thing that you can inject, mm. whether it's connections, whether it's a, a, a talent, a gift, a skill. Um, and that's the, the cool thing about it, bro. You never know who's going to walk into your doors and completely change your life. And I can say like my mates, my boys, like, I see them as brothers now, but they were strangers six months ago. Yeah. And they've actually changed the game for us. You know what I mean? Wow. So it's pretty powerful, bro. People are everything. In regards to your fuel source, as we were mentioning at the start, your fire, do you think you still have the same fire or fuel now as you did when you started? Do you think you have more now? Or do more you, now. Bro. Yeah? People believe, believe in you. And mm. It's not really about you now. It's about them and it's about the people who believe in you. Because you've picked me at a good time because – um, for the first time we've hired coaches. Mm. So now it's like me and my brother Drake, we've been running the brand, yeah. running it, running it, running it, running it. It's awesome. You've got to do that. You've got to hustle. You've yeah. got to get in, take every single class, mm. all the programming, you know. You can't, it's really hard to build the brand if you're running the brand. Mm -hmm. So now it's like I've, uh, we've hired like four people, four very close friends who we trust, you know, um, to do a great job in the coaching department. So now, I can kind of take a step back. And a powerhouse in five years, we see it being a powerhouse. Where, where, where do you see True Hustle in five years? Yeah. Very good question. We always said that we're going to be the, the biggest fitness brand in New Zealand. Ooh, so, you know, speak it, bro, all day. It. Yeah, so <clears throat> that's going to happen. I want to take it online as well. So I want to have an impact online where people can see True Hustle through um, overseas. Yeah. So it doesn't matter where you are, America, Europe, yeah. Australia, Asia, and we can have an impact overseas as well so i think we've got about online 200 members so there's no reason why we can't take that to 50,000 members oh. or, you know what i mean so that's wow. that's the goal just the goal isn't this it's just to have an impact yeah okay, a positive impact positive influence and to help people through fitness bro both physically and mentally because it ties them together online like are you guys offering obviously like nutrition plans uh, and training plans and stuff like that yeah so started off with training um we've just added some nutrition but for me, my bro, I think fitness is just such a small thing of well-being. Mm. Like it's a very important thing, but there's a lot of things that, that add to that. And um, we always wear true hustle more than fitness on, mm. on the back. So it's yeah. just more than just fitness. So yeah. um, I'm really in the process of actually thinking like how can we offer more than fitness, whether it's, you know, your mindset, um, emotional, physical, spiritual well-being, yeah. um, your mental well-being, your nutrition, your sleep, your habits, your routine your environment, all these things are so important to make a fit and healthy person. Mm. But yeah, like it's good to look and feel good, but there's so much more to fitness than just uh, picking up a dumbbell. Yeah, you know for I mean? sure. But I want to add that to the online game because I feel like everyone's already clocked the fitness game. Mm. We're going to create our own path. Yeah. Mm. Instead of trying to climb a ladder that everyone's already at the top of, it's like, well, let's just try something different. And it's more than fitness. But it sounds like you guys are doing that in a way of like your gym, your community. Yeah. Like yeah. I think yeah. – your, your members will come in and train, but they'll be getting so much more than yeah. just training, you know, like exactly. the community right. yeah. uh, you're offering, the way you're yeah. speaking. 
Yeah. So it's, it's awesome. Yeah, sometimes people don't really understand why they're training. Mm. And once you understand the, the why, it has to be a little bit bigger than just six pack. Yeah, 100%. You know? And once they understand the true meaning and the true why, they tend to turn up on the days that I don't feel like turning up. Yeah. They tend to put in the work consistently day in, day out. Mm. Do that. Oh, I've got a six pack. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a supply product. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so true. Yeah. yeah. Speaking of um, health and fitness, let's go a bit more personal to you. Yeah. Uh, cover many differently. We'll start off with with, with diet. Yeah. What, what's your diet at the moment, brother? Right. Talk us through a day. Like, wake a up. Day, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Like, and yeah. Talk just us for anyone listening as well, be yeah. like, okay, I'll give that. So, bro, <laughs> people are funny, eh? <laughs> like, man, nutrition uh, for me, bro, it's, it's kind of changed like a little bit, but um, for me, whole foods. Yo. So eating just like one ingredient foods, bro. Yeah, that's the main thing. The food that like Mother Nature has given us. Yeah, it comes from an animal, the ground tree i feel like that's how human beings thrive you know i try to limit all my processed foods and stuff like that so i wake up i get like six eggs bang smash salted up um with my fruit so i've got you know pineapple apple orange watermelon anything chopped up in a bowl and i love my raw honey on top you know so something like that bro uh then moving into my lunch it's always i love red meat love steak so sirloin (laughs) steak double up um with my kumara you know Yo. what I mean, bro? Yo. So I'm just hitting that kumara, mashed yeah. kumara, avocado, or something yeah. like that. And then dinner's something similar, bro. You know what I mean? Whether it's chicken, steak, some eggs again, uh, lots of ground beef. Um, I like a bit of Greek yogurt as well Yo. uh, with my protein powder and some fruit. But that's kind of how I'm going, man. And just, you know, whole foods. Whole yeah. Foods. Where do you think people go wrong, bro, with, with nutrition? Uh, where do they go wrong? Do you think it's like lack of knowledge or lack of uh, education so to speak yeah. or do you think it's more lack of discipline or do you think it's a combination of both a combination of both yeah sure. yeah i think oh bro like if, if it is really hard man if you're constantly eating you know processed foods and we have so many options now mm. it's hard to get off that bro. for sure taste, bro. Taste good. Taste, good. Yeah. Yeah. Our taste buds are being changed and everything's different bro and it's easy and it's convenient for you sure know what I mean? just go into the, the drive through you know, I'll have that, that, and that. Sweet, see you later. Or Uber yeah. Eats, you know. Yeah. So, but I feel like we, like we know. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you know, like come on, like you know. I definitely yeah. feel like it's more than even for me when I when you know when we all go in our ruts or whatever. You yeah. Wanna, yeah. We know, bro. We don't eat that food. pizza. We don't eat that bloody pizza. <laughs> Yeah. Go make yourself a kumara and yeah. Angus. What's your burger thing that you made that too? Oh, bro. So Avocado, yeah, bro. I just had one, bro. I just had one before I came here. So, yeah. <laughs> wow, watch it, bro. Mash kumara, another mince patty on top, bro. Oh. Avocado on air. <laughs> it, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's 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 day, bro. Yeah. It looks so good. And the more you go down that path, you start feeling like alive. You feel good. You feel yeah. energetic. And then you don't want to go back there, bro. Yeah. Because you go, great. Man, yeah. I'm off the walls. You go, oh, this energy. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling alive. That's what nutrition should make you feel like. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go to the Philippines, bro. That's all they do. Yeah. Fruit from the, the coconuts. From the land. Wow. From the land. Mm. You feel good. You look good. You mm. perform good. You know? <sighs> it's the food that we put on us, bro. It's like you drive a car, bro. You put in the wrong picture and expect it to go far. Treat it like bro. fuel, though. Nah, Very true. Eh? Like on, your body. on the contrary to that, we all yeah. love a cheat meal, bro. You know, like yeah. I yeah. love a cheat meal. Um, if I'm yeah. cutting weight, I love a good cheat meal. What's yeah. your go to go to cheat meal? I love burgers, my bro. I, burgers. <laughs> I used to be a massive fan of just burger fuel. Simple. I was, I was expecting a burger muscle, fuel, yeah, <laughs> you know, with the shake and some fries, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But no, shit, boys, like I wake up after a cheat meal now and I feel like I've just done five days at RMV. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, and shit. then you feel rough oh after five God, days yeah. after RMV. Like yeah. So I'm just like, I don't know if I want to eat like that anymore. Yeah. So I remember I used to look forward to the cheat days. It's like, man, it's a Saturday cheat day. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. After Saturday cheat day. Yeah. Cheat day. But the more I've done it, it's like cheat days go every second week now, every third week. Wow. Yeah. Once a month. So a little bit of chocolate there and there, but I don't like going down Ben and Jerry's or whatever. Yeah, yeah, like, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's true. Me. I don't want to feel like that. So I'm just like, I've almost gone off it. Like, I'm not going to say I don't have a little cheat day there and there. Yeah, but yeah. It's, um, yeah, understanding like the, the, what the good food studio and what the bad food studio and know that feeling. Speaking of um, R&B, yeah. <laughs> do, do you consume alcohol or do you, are you, would you consider yourself a, do you go out much or, you know? All that sort of stuff. Oh, growing up, bro, I definitely did. Yeah. Yeah, Friday, Saturday, you know. Mm. But 
man. You can't be doing that if you want to do what I'm doing. Yeah, bro. So um, eventually, um, did I like the person that I was when I was going out and drinking all the time? Probably didn't respect him as much. Mm-hmm. I probably, yeah, so I knew that the person that I was, it wasn't that person. So mm-hmm. for me, bro, I can, I socialize a lot better sober. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't need to drink to socialize or to, to feel cool or to fit in anymore, yeah. which is power. So I 100%. like that. But um, once in a while, bro, like for, it would be for occasions. Yeah. So I got my bros uh, wedding at the end of the year. Um, if it's going to be like a New Year's Eve festival or yeah. something like that. So yeah. I'm saying probably three, four times in the year. I'll push the boat out for a yeah, few drinks, a few beers. Very similar. But um, definitely matured a lot more now with my alcohol. Yeah. You know, instead of like, drinking to get away. Yeah. It's just like, all right, drink, socialize, have a bit of fun. And then you'll you good. Takes time to get there though. Well, bro, it did for me. You got to f- up a lot of times. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I learned the hard way. Yeah, yeah I'm sure we all have. Yeah. yeah. How long? How long do you feel like you've been drinking like this for? Like you know, not letting alcohol control you to uh, a, to a point. I'd probably say ever since I started True Hustle, bro. <laughs> okay. So I say about. Um, hey, don't get me wrong, man. I'm no saint, and I'm not gonna be like. I've, when I push the boat out, sometimes I can get reckless. Mm. And yeah. Some stupid shit. Mm. You know, no, I usually go down like a path where it's like, all right, let's, let's do this. And I'm just like, F- yeah, let's go. Let's yeah. go all in, you know? Um, but yeah, like I said, I've matured a lot more and I feel like I can, uh, yeah, handle myself a lot better. Because it's a powerful thing being able to control. I feel like I'm kind of going through it now, more just realizing what alcohol does, Ooh, you know? Yeah, it's a detriment, bro. Like, yeah, bro. I yeah. feel like, no, no good comes out of it. Like there's fun, you have fun times, but I feel like there's more negative than there is positive, you know? 100%. The attributes to your yeah. life, which I'm slowly realizing. Yeah. And then I still go and make the wrong decision, you know? It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, it. but I'm aware of it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, um, it's something I've got to learn, bro. Yeah. I'm aware of it though. So. Yeah. Oh, it's very hard to be in control when you're intoxicated, you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Right? Like exactly. there's something like, there's something trying to taking over your body, bro. Yeah, it's it's scary, like, eh? Yeah, and it's like handle your piss. It's like I can't, bro. Yeah. you know, like how am I supposed to? Yeah, <laughs> not me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not so, me. Wow. I this, yeah, um, I never looked yeah. at it like that, but, but so then I guess true. it's like your environment, you know. So like, if your mates are continuously going out and drinking, you're probably gonna eventually be a byproduct of your environment. Hundred yeah. percent. So like, no matter how kind of mentally like strong you are, you're gonna give in eventually. Mm. Uh, so me and my boys, yeah. The boys drink a little bit more than me, but barely, bro. You yeah. know, we're on the same path and similar journeys, and mm. we have expectations of each other, and yeah, we have a standard. Like, what yeah. about a missus? You got a you got a partner? Hey, no, nah, I don't, man. Yeah, um, had one for ten ten years. Wow, oh, wow. ten years. So, um, that's it's it's a it's a long story. She's at currently she's overseas at the moment. She, she's working on the super yachts. Oh wow! So, uh, we split up about a year ago. Um, so yeah, that, that was probably the hardest thing that I ever went through, bro. Yeah. Wow. yeah. The hardest thing that I ever had to go through was heartbreak. Yeah. You know, I've been through a bit, but um, heartbreak, the one that you truly love, is mm. the hardest thing that I had to ever go through, bro. Um, and I learned many lessons, many lessons from it, uh, the good, the bad. Um, you know, there's a lot of growth, a lot of tears, a lot of pain. But I'm very grateful for the experience yeah. as well. Looking back on it, very grateful. Uh, it definitely shaped me into a better human being yeah oh even God. though it sucked at the time mm. you, gotta, you gotta search deep for the positives and there's always a way and um, fitness was definitely always there for me yeah you know, which was a massive tool my brother's massive mm. tool. family massive tool mm. um but she's amazing and i still care and i still love for her and i just wanted to, to live her best life and i'm sure one day maybe one day we'll reconnect you say fitness is is, is obviously an outlet for you the same for us do you do you have another outlet or anything uh, um, other than fitness? Nature. Yeah. Nature. nature. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's always to do with my body, to movement, but uh, I love being in the ocean. Mm. Uh, I love hikes. Yeah. Yeah. Just New Zealand's beautiful. Bro. Yeah. You know I, mean? I love New Zealand, man. I love the nature and just going for walks and just uh, clearing the mind. And it's like my solitude, even just driving up to the beaches or out to the West Coast. Mm. I connect really well with, with uh, Mother Nature. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That. Um, that's really about it, bro. Fitness, yeah. nature, yeah, right. That's all I'm doing. What about like opening up? Open, how good are you uh, at opening up to 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 your friends or to your brothers? Are yeah. you, would you say that as a strength of you? Would yeah. you say you, you lack in nah, that sort of department? Or? Nah, man. I think for me, um, as the boys would know, I'd be a leader, mm-hmm. and to, to lead, you got to be vulnerable as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and you need to show the boys that, you know, you can let your walls down yeah. um, first. And it was very uncomfortable at the start because growing up in New Zealand, I think it was, we didn't really do that, bro. 
It was more <clears> just like, you know, you bottle your shit up, you handle your shit, um, you be a tough cunt and, yeah. and you keep going, especially from the north. Um, but we have created an environment where we check in weekly. <clears> and if something's up, bro, we, we talk, you know. Yeah. And uh, it was very uncomfortable at the start, but now it's just become normal. Yeah. So yeah, we're, no, we're that's more awesome. happy to open up. Yeah, and it's mm. very healthy. For sure. Very beautiful. Healthy. Yeah. I think beautiful. we need more environments like that. Yeah, a yeah. lot of males are missing it. I feel like oh. females as well, you know. 100%. Uh, it's just a conversation more, more or less, eh? To be able to yeah. communicate your feelings. Yeah, like we're very lucky to, to have each other. To have each other. We don't have yeah. too many, you know, environments or bigger groups that have that, have that too. So yeah. I love hearing that. Mm. Yeah, you can ask someone like, hey, you're all good, bro. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Bro. You're all good. Yeah. You're all good. Like, honestly, boys, I was, you know, you're good because I can see you're moving different. For mm. sure. Talk to me, brother. Mm. Like, I'm here. I love you. Mm. you know, be a little bit vulnerable. Be a bit emotional. I love you, bro. Talk to me. I got you. Mm. You know? No, we're in the sick of everyone's going through something. Oh, for sure. You know? And a problem shared is a problem half, my bro. So yeah. Don't take everything on yourself. You know? mm. Yeah. Beautiful, brother. Oh, my head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, moving on. Moving on. Future. Future. Yeah. Big five years ahead. We all got a big five years. What do you what do you want? What do you want to have had accomplished? Bro? Um what do I want to in all aspects. In all aspects. Um, so going off German True Hustle, mm. man, I'll be a dad more than ever. Beautiful. A family man. Yeah. Uh, you know, marry the woman of my dreams and then have kids and be my kids' hero, man. Like yeah. my mum was for me. That's mm. something that I truly can't wait for. You know, just have the little fellas look up at me and go, F- I want to be like you when I'm older, man. Yeah. Mm. That's it. I, I love that, man. I'm a family man. I can't wait for that uh, part of my life. It's not It's not now. I know that. Mm. But um, it will come. So definitely can't wait for that. Um, true hustle, I think, like I said before, just online, just increase or, uh, the impact of what we're doing now on a bigger scale. Yeah. Um, so having that and, um, yeah, the gym, I think, will take care of itself. So the gym, the culture, the environment, just to level up, to keep improving, to create a world-class product, but more importantly, a powerful product that can change lives. Yeah. Um, and that's what I really want, man. And to live life on my terms. You yeah. know what I mean? To not feel like I'm, I'm restricted or, you know, I want to live a life full of like limits, bro, and just yeah. go in. If I want to better do something, I can go do something. And I don't know what that looks like, but I can go find out. Yeah. yeah. All day. You're obviously a very uh, driven, driven individual. I feel like yeah. with someone who's self-driven, obviously has yeah. to have a lot of self-belief. Yeah. Do you, yeah. do you believe in yourself? I do, bro. I do. I didn't always, but I believe the harder you work, the more confident you get. Mm-hmm. So um, where I am now, like, I, there's no way I could have sat here three years ago and spoken the way that I speak now. Got gotcha. you. Mm-hmm. Like, through the grind and through the effort and, and doing it every damn day, you start believing in yourself. Now then, what do you struggle with now then? I'm not saying I'm perfect. There's definitely things that I struggle with. No, 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 um, yeah, yeah. I need a little bit of time. No, um, no, no, you're all right. Yeah, I think actually, bro, what I, what I've, it's going back to the Philippines, you know, we spoke about that. What I did struggle with was I lost the connection through the people at times. Mm-hmm. I was so driven, so focused on this one mission to make True Hustle, you know, the global brand. Mm-hmm. Uh, and doing that, you know, I, I pushed people away or, you know, man, get up the way, I'm on the grind, you know. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was just so tunnel vision that I forgot what was most important was the actual people. Mm-hmm. So I think balance, and I know a lot of people say, you know, if you want to be successful, you can't have balance. Mm-hmm. I, I don't believe that. Mm-hmm. Um, you can have balance in ways where, you know, family, connection, your friends, and that's balance. Yeah. You know? um, and I saw this quote and it said, um, slow down, you can never rewind life. So be super present. So yeah. I remember I've lost I've lost that before saying I'm not present because I'm always thinking, I'll be downloading and I'm, I'm not here, you know, mm-hmm. five years in front. Mm-hmm. Be where your feet are at, you know what oh. I mean? And I feel like that's what I've kind of, that was the biggest struggle that I had to do. And I'm learning uh, a lot about that now. Yeah. And I'm trying to get better at that. So that was definitely something. Yeah. Honestly, brother, that makes me like a little bit emotional hearing that because I think I'm in where you were <laughs> in regards to always overthinking and regards to thinking either in the future or thinking about my past. And yeah. Um, yeah. I'm currently in that waka right now. Yeah. So go through it, bro, to understand it. Yeah. yeah. I think a trip to the Philippines might be nice. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Um, so that, re- that made me understand a little bit. And like, I, I needed to make changes because I was burning out. Mm-hmm. I was running myself into the ground. And when you're tired and it's awesome, you're not good for anyone. Yeah. Good for yourself, friends, family, your business. So um, 
going into the Philippines and people go on holiday and they feel great. Yeah. And they go, I feel awesome. I can't, I'm going to go back into the exact same environment. Yeah. Mm. What burnt you out? It's like, no, brother, because in two months' time, you're going to be burnt out again. Mm. Go away, um, reflect. How can we improve? Make the changes. Nothing changes, nothing changes. Yo. Make those changes and your life's a lot better. You mm. know what I mean? So I think that's what holidays are for. Reflection. Mm. Oh, man, I appreciate that. All right. Um, final question. Final question. We, we ask. ask you <laughs> ask it. You, know, you ask. Um, we like. Yeah, we ask all our guests this. Yeah. What would you tell younger Daniel? Some advice. Be yourself, no matter what, and back yourself. Um, you know, don't try and be someone just so like to fit in, or yeah, be your true, authentic self, and only you know who that is. You know mm-hmm. what I'm trying to say? Um, and just go for it, man. Like whatever you want to do. Do it at your very best ability and like sign that contract to say, you know, you're never going to quit, you're never going to give up. Um, but yeah, I think like looking back on it, I probably wouldn't change a thing. Mm-hmm. That's what a lot of people think because I think it's just the path that you're supposed to follow. Mm-hmm. And all the lessons that I've learned has shaped and molded me into the person I am today. So I'm grateful for everything. But um, yeah, back yourself, be yourself and don't ever f- give up no matter what. And I think those are three big things that I, I'll tell my my younger self younger dad beautiful, yeah, younger dad. Dad. beautiful. Yeah. oh man yeah. now well just to conclude thank you for supporting us thank Mark. you for being here yeah. and thank yeah, you for brother. sharing some uh, ma tauranga man some wisdom not, not only to me and Jake but I know so many people will will appreciate some of the things that you've said because you've dropped some bloody time dropped some <laughs> gold <laughs> bro <laughs> straight Thanks, up yeah, no, thank, thank you, you brothers thank you man thank you so um uh, Oh, you carry on. Thank yeah. you, my brother. Oh. <laughs> still rolling. We're still rolling. Yeah, yeah, we're still rolling. Yeah, we're still that concludes the team episode 13, Mr. Dan Ridgely. We are back in two weeks with just Jakey now. Make sure that you subscribe, channel in to the Instagram, underscore the Martin Show. Plug it. Plug anything it, plug else, it. Else? I just want to say before we finish, bro, to further our relationship like you came here and um caught it with us shared, yeah. shared some knowledge yeah. dropped some wisdom yeah. we would love to carry on the relationship and come train or you come do a boxing session we come come to true hustle i love that boys yeah, let's do it straight that, up bro i'd love that you guys are welcome in the doors bro whenever you guys want i'll let you guys know exactly your times and whatever yeah, cool. come through bro you guys are fitting right man true hustle it's epic and um yeah, bro, I'd love to do a boxing session this time. Yeah. yeah. I did a few uh, Chop Chop, Chad. Oh, yeah, bro. That's yeah. the brother. One of my brothers. Oh, yeah. no way. Yeah, it's the brother. That, bro. So, yeah. Yeah, bro, let's do it. Oh, let's, let's do it, us. brother. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed Fido. Lock in, tap in, and we'll see you at the next one. Mana show out. Peace. Shoulder. Shoulder.